everyone, I just thought I'd share my sticker storage setup with you. Um, this is a A5 uh, planner from Mrs Brimbles, it's the unicorn one and um, I use it to keep all my stickers in although it's rather full now. So uh, it has little pockets at the front which I just have some of my stickers that I use quite a lot in there. Some of the ones for when my husband's off work and some of the um, UK events that I stick in. And those are the weeks. Then it doesn't have dividers in it, although I'm thinking that I might do that. Um, but at the front I have sort of leftover kits. The stickers that I might use and add into other um, weeks. There's all, all sorts in there of, of leftover bits. And I have days and dates together as well just going to show you these ones I'm not going to show you absolutely every sticker that's in here but I sort of keep them together in bundles so they're day and date covers and then there's some bigger ones there as well and then we have sort of to do checklists um, more to do bits there's post office -y type things there things to do with my bits of stationery we've got coffees and meeting people that's sections for chores we have a health and beauty section in there. Uh, we've got things to do with birthdays. Then we've got hobbies. There's a random one for the bunnies. There's a school section. Um, that's work. We've got travel. And planning stickers. Random hearts. They seem to have lots of hearts. And then even more, that's a random section at the back there. You can see it's qu quite full. <laughs> There's quite a lot in there. I need to do another another one, I think. Um, so they fit in there quite nicely. As you can see, there is a slight overlap there, but I'm going to show you what I use. So these are page protectors for a scrapbook album. This particular um, one is American Crafts, if you can see that there, but you can use any, you could even use the A5 sort of ring binder pockets. This particular size I'm using is a 6x8 page protector. I have quite a few of them because I'd, I'd like to do scrapbooking as well. So I've used some of my leftover ones. And then I've just grabbed um, some washi tape. And I'm going to put that along the top. So I'm starting well, along the side, should I say. And I'm going to go all the way round. And then finish at the other end so it doesn't that particular bit there because it's sealed off it doesn't open at the top so it's not going to restrict your access to putting your stickers in and out if that makes sense and trim the bottom off and that just covers you've probably seen this done before but that just covers up any old sort of holes that were there that aren't going to be relevant and line up anymore and this is just a page get the right size it's actually got the correct holes just going to line that up you could use a hole punch on this um like a six hole hole punch i did try that and it it's a bit sticky and it clogged up my hole punch so um i'm going to do this a slightly different way because you've got the washi tape there as well when it goes through sometimes it just gets a little bit stuck so that was my little assistant passing me a pen there because i forgot to pick one up so I'm just going to do some dots right in the middle of each of those holes. And then I'm going to use my single hole punch to just go through. And you'll see what I mean in a minute by the stickiness. They cuts, it cuts quite nicely, but it's, it gets a bit stuck. Give it a little bit of a pull. Now you can see as well, it hasn't it's gone completely all the way through there. So it hasn't taken the little section with it. And that is because it's sticky and has washi tape on it. So I'm going to speed this bit up. So do this nice and quick. And then I just go back over. Finish that bit off there with a pair of scissors. And you can see it's gone. I don't know if you can see that properly, but it's gone pretty much all the way through. It just leaves the tiniest little bit attached, which I'm just going to snip. 
So again, I'm not going to make you watch me cut out all six, so I'm going to speed this up after I've shown you the first one. So it can be a little bit time consuming if you've got a lot of sections that you need to do, but it is worth it if you sit and do them all sort of in an hour or so and then you can section out all your stickers. I like to put mine, as you've seen, in, in themes. Um, I'm just deciding at the moment as to whether to make some dividers or not so that I can access them a bit quicker. I don't know, I quite like looking through them though. It reminds me of other stickers I have, but I haven't decided that yet. There's a possibility that I need to get a second planner here anyway, because I seem to have quite a few in there. So I could possibly do dividers if I end up with two. I might need to remember exactly what's in each planner then. So I'm gonna put this one right at the back because I haven't got anything to put in it yet. But we'll just pop that in. It fits lovely. You can see that one's all ready to go. So that's how I store mine. I'd love to know how you store yours. You can leave some comments below. And thanks for watching. Bye.